what does operation mean in Cricut Design Space? What are the differences between the operation types? Why don't you see all the options that you see in tutorials? Can you use more than one on a project? This is Ruth with Hank's Maker Mentor, and I'm here to answer those questions for you. Selecting the operation tells the Cricut what you want it to do. This used to be done by changing the line type and fill. February of 2021, that was changed to all be part of the drop-down menu called Operation. It's broken up into three main categories, Cut, Draw, Print and Cut. We'll cover what's included in each of those categories throughout this video. Be sure to check the description below for links to all the pages I reference. Knowing what the operation types are can help you select designs that work for your project. The January 2022 Design Space for Desktop update introduced the operations icons being included on the image tiles in Design Space. You can also filter by operation type, but more on that later. The operations you'll see in your drop down menu will depend on what machine you have selected to use in Design Space. The Cricut Joy's compact size means you have three options basic cut, pen, and foil. Basic cut, commonly just called cut, is when the included blade is used to cut the selected material. This is probably the most common use for a Cricut machine. Pen is when the Cricut will use a compatible pen or marker to draw your design on the material. Foil is using the foil transfer kit to embellish designs onto your material. The Joy can foil on cardstock, paper, and the smart label writable vinyl. The Explore family of machines includes all of the machines that have Explore in their name. The most common right now are the Explore 3 and the Explore Air 2. The Operations panel has two additional types, Score and Print and Cut. Score allows you to use a scoring stylus in Clamp A to create clean fold lines for cards and envelopes, boxes, 3D projects, and more. Print and Cut uses your household printer to print out designs, and a sensor on your Cricut machine scans the design to let the Cricut know where to cut. This is great for tiny details and projects with multiple colors that you don't want to or can't layer. To change a design to Print and Cut, including to add a fill pattern, you'll click on Operation and click on the word Standard here under Print and Cut. You'll then click on the square here, and you can Choose the print type to be color and choose one of the preset colors. You can open up and do more advanced color selection, or you can change your print type to pattern. Pattern allows you to choose Cricut's pre-selected patterns or ones that you've uploaded through the upload section. Print and cut on colored materials is possible with the Cricut Maker, the Maker 3, and the Explore 3. If you have a previous Explore model, you need to use white material for print and cut. The foil transfer tool can also be used on a wider variety of materials with the Explore and Maker machines. The Maker and Maker 3 give the most options. Cut includes basic, wavy, and perforate. Draw includes pen, foil, score, deboss, engrave, and print and cut. These additional options are made possible with the quick swap tool system. And when you're new to it, it's hard to understand what each one does. The perforation blade tip creates clean, easy to tear perforations. The debossing tip lets you embellish projects in intricate detail. The single scoring wheel tip allows for clean creases in a single pass. The double scoring wheel tip makes clean creases on thick materials. The engraving tip is used for professional looking engraving. And the wavy blade is for decorative edges on a variety of materials. When browsing and searching for projects or images, keep an eye out for the operations icons or the details in the project description. You can change the operation type, but your results might not be what you wanted. Files that are designed to be drawn include fine lines that struggle to cut and weed clean. Fonts that are designed to be cut will be bubble letters when drawn. Projects do not have to be limited to one operation. Some are designed to have multiple operations and it will show on the image tile. You can also combine multiple operations on a single project using the attach function. If this video was helpful, please consider clicking the like button. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments below. 
There's a lot of information to learn with your Cricut and no dumb questions. I'm here to help you learn how to make. Thanks for watching Hank's Maker Mentor. Until next time, bye.